just been to do a bit of a shop on my own. We couldn't get Matilda into the Super U car park. There she is. Just parked up on the side of the, well, in a gateway that I think it's like a um, brick on place that's closed, brick marsh that's closed. So, no, it's just parked up there. Because it's Saturday. And everywhere has closed on this little industrial estate. It's perfect. Anyway, we are now off to heading north a little bit to Mayern. snapped a few branches off. <laughs> We've just arrived at our park up. Well, about 20 minutes ago, so just gone three o'clock. Um, since we've arrived, five other vehicles have turned up. It's a beautiful air. Uh, Mark's just outside with Vespa. And we, we try not to leave, if we're just doing like a one night stop, we try not to leave it too late to get here. And then generally when we get here, we'll have something to eat. It's a little bit later than normal, but we're starving. So we're just gonna have some bread and cheese and a few other little nibble bits. So we did a supermarket stop, which you would have seen on the way here. Um, so we stopped and picked up some lovely blue cheese. Compulsory, obviously. some olives and a no, this was from the supermarket but it still feels quite um nice and fresh so we'll eat that now it's just gone half three we'll eat we're gonna go for a little bimble because it looks like we're right on the river so we're gonna have a little look around um, and then we'll probably have a later tea tonight it's kind of yeah i find we can't be too restricted with routine when we're doing this and we're in and in and out of airs and park ups. I mean, we've been parked up for the past three nights. Um, so it's a little bit different. I'm gonna set in a bit more, but I think, oh, we might stay longer here, but I think we're just gonna stay for the night. And we've got a little bit of a plan to work our way back up to Dunkirk and have a couple of nights at the campsite in Dunkirk before we come back. And also we can get Vespa's vet check done. So we've got the bread. French bread is just, Amazing. I was trying to be so good on this trip, but this could potentially be our last trip in Matilda. So we're both a little bit like, wow, wow. Well, Life's too short to not eat bread. <laughs> but we've been very good. We haven't had pastries every day, which when we were here earlier this year, we did. Um, so we're trying to be a little bit, a little bit better. But life's too short to not eat bread and drink good wine, as they say. Warm. It's quite warm today. Um, temperatures really start to rack up. And these little fans were from Amazon. Thanks, Dave, from Global Tracers for recommending them. We use them in the cab. I use them sometimes for night time. They're great in here. Um, they move like that around. You can clip them on. Got a big clip. They've also got a hook underneath. Um, they've got like three settings and they've also got 
a light. This is a light ring as well. Um, so they're great for a Vespa in the cab. Also for us on hot days. I think they're about £30. I'll pop a link on. But really good. And they last. They're USB charged and they last ages. Like a good 8-10 hours. Which is fantastic for a USB charge fan really. Nice little pictures from a hard standing ish electric on everyone. Not sure, bro. Good girl. Bonjour. Just a little snack to keep us going. These crisps are amazing here in France. Pesto and mozzarella. This is our last bag I need to stock up, but they're so yummy. Oh, there she is. Is that nice? Where have you been? They're nice out there? Yeah, it's lovely air. Yeah. Did you get down to the river? Yeah, yeah. There's undercover picnic area. Picnic oh. tables and stuff, the shower. Oh, he said toilets. something about be careful using all the hot water. Don't take all the hot water oh. and then they've got a mooring so the water is the mooring oh. so it doesn't walk anywhere it's oh. just a little strip and the water's just there is it swimmable paddleable or uh, yeah sort of it's, it's a good drop because oh. it's a mooring i think if we walk up the road cut back across there's a little bridge here all the kids are canoeing and paddleboarding and oh we can have a look can't we best we can have a swim oh we can all have a swim yeah, it's a funny colour oh is it Maybe not. Then. That blue sky. They look like um. Oh, I thought there were some flowers close yeah. up, but no, I don't know. Oh gosh, that that the heat of that sun's crazy. Too fast road, I think. Yeah, let's go for a little bimble. See what's about. Oh, that's a nice little stream down there, look. Yeah. I bet Vespa could swim in there. There's a picnic table there. Oh, she can have a little swim in there, can't she? Oh, no, it's dead. Good girl. Good girl. There she is. That's it, when she's in. I'd quite like to get my feet in there actually. So clear, isn't it? It's an absolutely stunning evening. It's 20 past six. God, blue the sky is still. It's about 23 degrees, I think. And this is some river. Look at that. A perfect evening. Oh, there That's she goes. <laughs> you can't swim the whole length of the river, Vespa. There's a little dog over there. He's dying to get in. Come and see Vespa barked at us on the way past. <laughs> Trying to get in. Yeah, he is, yeah. The cycle track. Well, I presume then that you can go for 186 kilometres. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. It says it on here. That's what I'm looking at. Oh. That'd be a nice little running track down there. Best book come away from the fisherman. This little gem, it's an old boat. I turned it into a little uh, book swap. How cool is that? Now we are walking back down to our air for the night. We're going to decide what to eat. It feels like all the video that we ever do is about food. That's quite nice. Oh, that is pretty. Very nice. Didn't notice that on the way in. Yeah. Oh, 
It's like a little YouTube, uh, YouTube Apple factory. Studio. Yeah. <laughs> nice studio. Though. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to the uh, Starlink up there as well. It's working well, even with lots of treats. And it's Saturday, and look at us being all prepared and getting, well, in a minute. <laughs> Getting Sunday ready. Yeah, getting Sunday's episode uploaded. Oh, it feels good. It won't launch any earlier, though. It won't launch any earlier. We're just getting ready. Yes. Sunday. Well, and by the time this bit goes out, it's going to be the next week. So, no, it's not launching any earlier. Just trying to get ahead of ourselves. Because it's going to be hot the next few days. Yeah. Go chasing the flies off a dinner bowl. Donut. winter and now it's summer so we thought we'd have a little drive past that was us back at the chateau just for a quick drive by and we have just seen dick and angel actually they're just getting in the car so we're gonna leave and uh, leave them in peace <laughs>
on the roof. You get a nice photo? Excuse that noise, it's the diesel here. Vespa, here. Oh, beautiful day. Vespa. That's our air. This is a little town. Look how beautiful the buildings are. Chandarmery. There's a little coffee shop up there, which I'm hoping is going to open at some point soon. Yeah, it's just nice. Yeah. Look at the blue skies. We've picked some stunning airs, haven't we? Oh, I can't believe that these airs are in stunning places. I know. Seven it's euros. The difference between the altitude of England Yeah, camping, absolutely. They put you front of house to get you in the town. Well, and I mean, what's not to love with that? Granted, it's a beautiful day as well, but... Wow. They really look after all their, um, I'll say hanging baskets, not hanging baskets, but summer <laughs> flowering yeah, through the summer in France. You can tell we're Normandy way, can't you? The houses are very... Oh, yeah, they're so different. Yeah. Wow. And then look at next door, how different it is. One of the things we love about France is the different architecture from just all over different places, north to the south. That's beautiful. And then a little, like a little fairy tale house. It's a nice morning, isn't it? It's an amazing morning. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. There's some heat in that already though, isn't there? Looking out for a thimble. Yeah, I'm just gonna have coffee right. and a Swiss. Not too shabby. Yeah, did all right, yeah. <coughs> Picked another nice one. We'll pop another little um, link on. This is lovely as well because we're like two minutes walk from the town. Yeah. You can see the gendarmerie. Neighbours. Just behind that is. Just a little town where we've just been, yeah. Our neighbours have left. Everyone's left quite early today, actually. We'll be off shortly, but just enjoying the morning sunshine with a coffee. Right, God, this is a hot day. We are just leaving. Take the levelers off.
we arrived. We, were, we met some French, lovely French girls yesterday who recommended this um, coastal town and it had a park for night and campsite right next door to each other. The, and the beach looks beautiful so I thought right let's do that. It was only an hour from where we were so it was a nice little um, trip, not too long. Yes, here and the air is full to bursting. Luckily the campsite is right next door and she could fit us in. So 20 euros which there's no electric which is fine because we're full of solar. Um, so yeah, I, mean, it, I didn't expect places to be quite so full this week, but good job there was a campsite next door. It is a busy, busy campsite. Mark's just putting the awning up. Oh, that gives us a nice bit of shade, doesn't it? That's all right. It's nice and breezy as well, so the beach is over there somewhere. Hello. Beautiful, are you just going to stare at each other? Yeah. Oh, she got They said. That's got to be the prettiest. Prettiest colour of lingerie I've seen. It's 8 o'clock. We've just walked 15 minutes to get the beach and we're hoping it's dog friendly oh wow yeah oh, I love this time of day at the beach you know oh wow yeah that is beautiful Oh, that was worth 15 minutes, wasn't it? That's a stunning little cove, isn't it? Oh yeah, absolutely no dogs. Of course. <laughs> She's just got... <laughs> Taken under a wave, bless her. Good girl, did it get you? No, you're not so brave now, are you? <laughs> yeah, it did, yeah. I weren't happy with that either. No, I can't punch it there, it's too, it's too hard. <laughs> This one. This one? Yeah. Because if you look right up here, there's a little bridge that goes across to the end. Yeah, that's that'll be fun. Let's go and have a look. Ready? So apparently we are gonna walk up there. Oh. oh this was a good little recommend, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a hotel up there, it looks stunning. Right, we're going to attempt these steps all the way up there. Keep that dog in close check. Right. I'd put her on the lead because she can't. Yeah, she will. She doesn't do. No dogs. For some reason, she can't walk yeah. normally up. That's better. Right, I'm going to turn this off because I'm going to start heavy breathing in a minute. Let's wait till we get to this bit because it looks pretty. Oh, it's good on the arm. So I'm trying to video and not trip over.
just find this golf course. <laughs> and we think the tea, well, I think the tea is like here. And then down onto this. It's very well manicured. Yes, it is a golf course. Zoom back in. Look how big it is. Wow. That's some uh, course, isn't it? If you. Uh... Wow. Good lord. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. It's so steep. Lanky legs up there. He's fine, they're fine. It's really steep. I'm not running fit anymore either. Oh, the views better be worth it. It was worth the climb, even if I am knackered. Apparently there's a bridge. Oh God, yeah, there is. That Mark's got very excited about. I'm not excited about said bridge. We're going. Oh God. Oh, I can't be too stupid because there's people there. Wow. This is absolutely breathtaking. Definitely worth getting up early and out of bed for. beach has got some history. I'm just reading about the Atlantic Wall and this is actually, if I just pan back you can see the cliff They're just over there. It's now got a church on it but one of the houses is, there's a house if I can zoom in. That house there is on this picture so that's still there. Fantastic. Going back to the campsite, half past ten. In the morning, everyone's gone, left us. <laughs> we are getting ready to leave. Sorry, it's a bit windy, and lots of people have left this morning, but also lots of people are waiting to come in. That is the only entry and exit. There's four vans waiting to come in. Ooh. It is waiting for us There's a new day Waiting round the bend There's a new day And it will restore us There will be new ways This is not the end 